so for number 28, we want to find a function that most closely matches this graph. So the best way to do this one is just to construct the function by looking at the graph instead of going through each uh, letter. So there's a few things that we need to take note of here. <clears throat> First of all, we have a hole at x equals 2. We have a vertical asymptote at x equals 1. And we have a 0 at x equals 0. So we have a lot of things that we already know should be in our graph. So because we have a vertical asymptote and a hole, we know that this is going to be a rational function. So our f of x is going to be a fraction. So what a vertical asymptote tells us is that that x, uh, so in this case, since our vertical asymptote is that x equals 1, we know that a factor of x minus 1 should be on the denominator, and it shouldn't cancel with anything because it should always stay in the denominator. So we know that has to be in our denominator. From this zero that goes through the origin, we know that we should have an x value. <clears throat> we know that we should have an x value in the numerator that's just x, because when we plug in zero, we're supposed to get zero. And since we have a hole when x equals 2, that means we must have a factor that cancels out. Remember that a hole is always something that canceled out. So we need a, a, a 0 of x equals 2 that will cancel out. So that tells us that we must have x minus 2 and x minus 2. Because those would cancel out, but we're going to write it as its full form. So the last thing we need to take into account is that we have a horizontal asymptote. So remember that you have a horizontal asymptote tells you that your uh, numerator and denominator, in this case, they're going to have the same degree because if the numerator is bigger, we don't have a horizontal asymptote. And if the denominator is bigger, we have a horizontal asymptote at zero, which we don't have. So this must tell us that they're the same degree, and they are. Both of these are degree two. But we know that the ratio of the coefficients has to be negative 1 because that's what the horizontal asymptote is. Right now, if you were to factor these out, we would have x squared on the numerator and x squared on the denominator. Their ratio would just be 1, but we know it has to be negative 1. So we have to just toss in a negative sign, and now our ratio would be negative 1. So we've taken into account everything, so let's just expand this out and see which answer that, that it matches. So this would be negative x squared plus 2x. And on the bottom, <coughs> excuse me, we would have x squared. So this would be minus x minus 2x. We get minus 3x plus 2. So our answer needs to look like that. And that there is answer choice E.